hello and welcome once again to my channel in our today's lesson we're going to look at uh, efficiency of a transformer then the first thing we have to know what is efficiency then we have to know how we calculate the efficiency of our transformer so the first thing efficiency is the ability to achieve an aid goal with little to no waste effort or energy which means for a transformer to be very efficient it must use very little power and then it must have a, also the little losses and we we have a copper losses and iron losses occurring in a transformer when we have the input power to that transformer so it must just have little losses in that case a machine is efficient if nothing is wasted and all processes are optimized and therefore a transformer is efficient if it effectively converts electrical power with minimal losses so the term here is minimal losses because for us to say that this uh, transformer is very efficient it must have just minimal losses and uh, it, sh it should operate at a high speed then this uh, efficient efficiency of a transformer should be between 95 percent 95 percent to 98.5 percent that's what we should know if it is below that that means that transformer is not efficient and it means it is uh, utilizing a lot of power and it is having a lot of losses and then uh, how do we calculate for the efficiency of a transformer we're saying that this efficiency is given by the output power all over the input power times 100 percent that's why i'm expressing this in terms of percent so it should be output power over the input power times 100 make sure you note that and then we have another term that we should note here that the output power is equals to v2 i2 cos theta 2 when uh, we have uh, the input uh, sorry we, we should have uh, the voltage in the secondary side of the transformer becomes our v2 the current in the secondary part of the transformer is our i2 then we have the theta in the other part in the second part of the transformer being theta 2 so for us to get the output power of the transformer we have v2 i2 then times cos theta 2 and then the what we've said there in our statement a trans transformer will have some losses in it so for us to get the total losses in that transformer we will have the all the copper losses in the transformer plus all the iron losses in that transformer then we have uh, we think that uh, the input power that we feed to that transformer is given by the output power plus the or the losses in that transformer that is another thing that we should note input power is equals to output power plus all the losses in the transformer that's what we have so after knowing all all these uh, parameters i want us to look at an example on how we calculate the efficiency of a transformer so this is our example here i'm given a 200 kva written transformer has a full load copper loss of 1.5 kilowatts and an iron loss of 1 kilowatt then i'm required to determine the transformer efficiency at full load and 0.85 power factor so the first thing we have to highlight what we are given so i'm going to write uh, what i'm given here i've told that uh, the power So let us look at the solution in this case so the power is a 200 k, k means times 1000 so it is 200,000 volt amperes and then has a full load copper loss of 1.5 kilowatts so copper loss 
copper loss is given as 1.5 kilowatts and then i'm told the i'm told that the iron loss is 1 kilowatt so the iron loss is equals to 1 kilowatt and then uh, this one is the same as 1500 watts this is the same as 1000 watts that's what we have then we are told to determine the efficiency of that transformer at full load at 0 0.85 power factor so we have power factor as 0 0.85 then one thing that we should note we think that power factor is equals to cos theta as far as per what we learned in our previous lesson that's what we said so how do we get the efficiency of this transformer for the first thing we saying that the efficiency is equals to output power divide by the input power then times 100 that's what we said so we have to ask ourselves do we have the input power do we have the output power or what what is lacking so in this case we're going to calculate for the full load output power output power because we've seen that the output power of a transformer is given by v2 i2 then cos theta 2 that's what we have but now we think that uh, this uh, unit of power is given in terms of va that means this 200,000 is our v, v2 i2 because of this unit here then I'll have uh, the full load output power as 200,000 then times cos theta and in this in this case our cos theta is our power factor and we're given that our power factor as 0 0.85 so I'll have times 0 0.85 and this is giving me the power as 170 kilowatts that is my output power at full load then i have to get uh, the total losses because i'm given the copper loss and the iron losses i'll have the total losses is equals to copper losses plus the iron loss the copper loss is I'm given as 1500 watts, which is 1.5 kilowatts, plus the iron losses I'm given as 1 kilowatt, so I'll have plus 1 kilowatt. This is giving me a total of 2.5 kilowatts. That is now the total losses. Then from there, we seen that uh, we've seen that uh, the input power. We have seen that the input power is equals to the output power plus the losses. So the input power will be equals to the output power which is 170 kilowatts plus all the losses which is a 2.5 kilowatts this will give us a total of 172.5 kilowatts is our input power so after having the output power and the input power we can now get our efficiency so this efficiency is equals to the output power over the input power times 
100%. So the output was the output was the 170,000 over the input which was 1 172500 then times 100. That's what we have. So when we work out this one here, we're going to have our efficiency as 98.5507%. That becomes the efficiency of that transformer. And in this case, you can see that this efficiency is above 95%. That means this uh, transformer is utilizing just little power. It is operating at a high speed and it is having very little losses thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel bye